Well, if you hate the direction the country is going, and there's some good news. Some scientists now say time travel may be possible thanks to a theory claiming there are multiple parallel universes all around us. This idea has, of course, been around in science fiction for decades, but these researchers say something called quantum mechanics may be able to prove it. It's very complicated. Fortunately, we have a real-life astrophysicist here to explain. He's the co-author of a new book, Welcome to the Universe, an astrophysical tour. It is astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson. Welcome. So nice to have you here. Thank you. This is so exciting. So for years, we've read about the multiverse theory and how perhaps there are various universes that are like slices in a loaf of bread. (laughs) But now, (laughs) this new interpretation says that it's not just a bunch of things happening concurrently, but some of those universes are exactly like ours, but a little bit ahead, some are behind, and we can bump into each other. Is time travel possible? Well, so there's a lot of mixed up stuff going on in there, yeah. but uh, it, just, just let's be clear. We've known for a long time that you can time travel to the future. Yeah. That's never been a problem. You can do that. By going faster than but, the speed of light? No, no, approach the speed of okay. light. And time go, ticks more slowly for you than it does for everybody else watching you the do this. The greatest anti-aging tool there is. <laughs> That's right. But then you come back and then all your loved ones are dead. You know, oh. th- their issue, th- it comes with its own set of complications. Uh, tr- time travel backwards has always been a little more challenging. And there are solutions to Einstein's equations mm-hmm. that allow backwards time travel, although Stephen Hawking is suggesting that the day we finally start doing that, mm-hmm. we may discover a new law of physics that says you can't disrupt causality. Yeah. And what would that mean? It means you go back in time, prevent your parents from meeting one another, yeah. and then you're not born, and then you don't exist enough to go back in time to prevent I mean, from that's, that's one, one, one of the problems we saw in Back to the Future. Yes. But let's talk about this, this, this many worlds interpretation, which is that there are parallel universes with different outcomes and every possible outcome. Well, if you have, uh, if you, so in the multiverse, there's no reason to think there couldn't be an unlimited, essentially infinite number of universes. If that's the case, and we're just one bubble. Yeah. And so one possible outcome. Yeah, we so, have one possible outcome of this configuration of atoms yeah. and energy. Okay. And so if you have an unlimited number of them, then in principle, every other possible configuration of particles exists, mm-hmm. including one where we're doing this show, except I'm in that chair and you're in this chair. Yeah. When I'm wearing red, you're wearing black. Mm. But everything else is identical. It, so, so you can have these variations in the universes. And so what we don't know yet is what happens to your consciousness. Yeah. So if I exist in my identical self in another universe, can I ever occupy that consciousness or not? Because we don't understand consciousness, yeah. really. Not enough to answer that kind and, of question. And does that have anything to do with superposition? And, and the fact that measuring something affects the outcome, yet there could be multiple well, outcomes happening at the exact yeah, same no, time. So the measurement of something affecting the outcome, yeah. that, has to, that requires very small That's phenomena. That's atomic. Yeah, yeah, it's atomic and molecular. Yeah. Uh, macroscopic things, yeah. no, I'm not changing your outcome by looking at you. Yeah. Right? Uh, and the way it works is very, actually quite simple. Uh, there's light shining on you, and you're just fine, illuminated by these stage lights. Mm-hmm. Particles, if I want to photograph it... Are they it, packets or waves? <laughs> I, I think of them as both. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just, just we say packets always because we don't have the word in the middle that we yeah. would assign to it, so that we don't even, so that we stop asking that question. Yeah. They tried wavicle, wave and particle. That, <laughs> that never, doesn't sound ne- good at all. I never, never it. Um, so what was I talking about? So, so if light is shining off. Light is shining off, you, and you're just there. A small enough particle. I say, where is the particle? Let's shine a light on it. Yeah. Boom. The particle is so small that the packets of light hit the particle, put it in another place, now I cannot photograph it the way I wanted to at the time w- where it was. Can we go visit ourselves? Do we have that ability right now? It does not look like that's the case. Okay. No. Will you please come back so we can talk about more of this stuff? You allocated eight minutes to talk about the universe? I know, come it's, on it's now. really difficult. That's why everyone has to read your book. <laughs> <laughs> so in that, it's, a, I have, it's I, and my two of my colleagues, yeah. uh, there's a course we taught at Princeton yep. on astrophysics. So this book is a mile wide, you'll get an introduction to every and it's a mile deep. Yeah. So you can go deep wherever you want and learn how to travel backwards in time, learn why Pluto got demoted, learn how and why, and, and 
not only how, what's going on in the universe, yeah. but how and why it works. Bring back Pluto as a planet and honor Clyde Tombaugh. It's not happening. Get over it. Oh, so sad. I'm a Tombaughian. The Tombaughian, that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, <Okay. is> <laughs> like a way to go. All right, thank you so much. Oh, nice thanks to for having you. me. Absolutely. Yeah. Please come back. Mm -hmm. So much to discuss. Such a big universe, or so many of them.